Hello and welcome to Phuket Paths GED Express screencast with me, Teacher Alex. Today's lesson focuses on GED science and uh, we will continue with the past paper we started last time with. So let's have a look. Last time we did question 1 and 2, so we will continue with question 3. So let's start. People trapped in a fire are often advised to get as close as possible to the floor while waiting for help. Why should they do this? To better hear the arrival of rescuers since sound is more easily heard through solids than through air. To be nearer the flame <coughs> sorry, to be nearer the flame retardant materials of the floor to safely test the temperature of the fire, to start putting out the fire with the least amount of effort, to breathe longer since carbon monoxide and hot gases are lighter than air. So, yeah, if we look at some of the possibilities to safely test the temperature of the fire or to start putting out the fire with the least amount of effort, well, these answers are yeah, we can discard basically. Uh, so what makes sense here? So if we think about temperature <coughs> and air in general, hot air is lighter than cool air, so it moves to the top. Same carbon monoxide <coughs> is lighter gas, it moves up, and carbon monoxide is toxic, so a lot of people who die in a fire actually die from a lack of oxygen and not because of the temperature. So the safest place during a fire is basically on the floor to avoid the smoke the fire causes. So number five is correct. Okay, let's have a look at number four. So we have a table again. Um, Earth's most abundant materials. So what means abundant first of all? Um, abundant means that there is or yeah it's, it's something that is very available in vast amounts. Okay, so Earth's most abundant materials. Elements in Earth's crust, so in the yeah, inside of the Earth, basically, the solid crust, outside crust of the planet. Percentage by weight. So we have a 46.6% oxygen in the Earth's crust. 27.72% silicon, 8.13% aluminium, 5% iron, and 3.63% calcium. And then on the other side, we have materials in seawater, percentage by weight. Sodium, 10.6%, magnesium, 1.27%, calcium, 0.4%, potassium 0.38 and strontium 0.01. Let's have a look at the question. So based on the diagram above, which set of elements is most abundant in Earth's crust? Calcium, iron, lead, oxygen, silicon, magnesium, oxygen, silicon, aluminium, sodium, magnesium, calcium, oxygen, silicon, sodium. So again, most abundant, so what is there most? And um, we have a look at the table. So we have the possibility to say oxygen, silicon, sodium. So these would be the three elements with the highest percentage. But what is important, we have to read carefully. They ask for the most abundant elements in Earth's crust. So we can exclude the right side of the table. We actually get 
too much information here and we only have a look on the left side and then we can see okay oxygen silicon aluminium are the most abundant elements and that is answer number three okay um that's it for me today so if you'd like to know more about phuket pals yeah visit our facebook page or call us for more information under the number you see here 081-417-0978 well that's it from me see you next time <clears throat> for the next science lesson bye bye